Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready to get 30, ready to get 20, 20, 20, ready to get 20, 20, ready to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See detail. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Network. Have a good day. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. You're listening to Saturday Morning Media, and now... Back to our show. This show is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. If you'd like to see this show continue, consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. And thank you for your support. Say kids, how would you like to build your very own Driftwood Gulch action playset? Stay tuned after the show to find out how. Saturday Morning Theater proudly presents The Tales of Deputy Guppy! Return with us now to the thrilling days of not too long ago when the West was wild and the rivers in the West were even wilder. Luckily, there was one fish to maintain law and order. One fish to reel in those who dare disturb the peace and tranquility of Driftwood Gulch. One fish to stand for truth, justice, and honor in the untamed rivers of the Wild West. Deputy Guppy! Today's adventure, Rustlin'. Saturday afternoons in Driftwood Gulch were often the most peaceful times of the week. Most of the fish folk were indoors to stay out of the sun that filtered down from the surface, and those that were out were just enjoying the day. Enjoying the calm of the afternoon on the front porch of the sheriff's office, we find our hero Deputy Guppy and his best pal Ringo. Sure is a nice and peaceful Saturday afternoon, ain't it, Gup? Sure is, Ringo. Nice and quiet. Just the way I like it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, say, Gup, got any word as to when Sheriff Bass might be coming back? He's been gone a whole week. Yeah, he has. No, no word yet. Luckily, though, aside from the trouble with the stagecoach carrying money for the bank last week, it's been nice and quiet. Sure has. Hey, that reminds me. You been over to see how Miss Tuna Bell's been settling in since her arrival? No, I have not, and why would I? Well, she's awful purty. She is, but what's that got to do with me going over and seeing how she settled in? Well, I I reckon I just figured that with her being so purty and all, and you never having any romantic inclinations toward nobody, I well, I just figured... Well, you can stop that line of figuring right there, Ringo. You got me? I don't need you playing matchmaker for me. Well, I just figured that No you... more figuring, Ringo. Okay, okay. Oh, say, do you think Aunt Pike would mind if I stopped by for dinner tonight? Ringo, when has Aunt Pike ever minded if you drop by for dinner? Well, Gup, I don't want to wear out my welcome. But I also know it's Saturday and Aunt Pike makes her flake bread, and oh, oh, I do love her flake bread. And she knows you love her flake bread. That's why this morning I saw she had taken out a spare pan to bake extra flake bread for you. Mm Mm-hmm. My stomach is making noise already. What? What? That wasn't my stomach, Gup, I swear. No, it wasn't. It was someone coming down the street there. Look at that. It's Linus Stoddard. Yeah, and he looks all fired up. Hey, Linus! Linus, over here! What's all the ruckus about? Guppy, where's the sheriff? He's still down in Cheyenne. What do you need? What do I need? I need the law! And not any wet-behind-the-ears law, neither. Well, until the sheriff gets back... I'm the law, so stop with the insults and just tell me what you're all worked up about. Someone has been rustling sea cows from off of my ranch. How do you know that? Well, my ranch hands rode out to the south pasture this morning and came back reporting that we were short a hundred head. A hundred head? That's that's quite a few. It is. 
and that's quite a few dollars at market. So I think I have a good bit of reason to be upset. Well, let me and Ringo get our seahorses, and we'll ride back out there with you and look for clues. You don't need to come out and look for clues. I have all the clues you need right here in my saddlebag. Let me get it here. Uh, see? Why, Gup, that's an arrow. Not just any arrow. A trout arrow. You know those trout are thieving connivers, and they stole my stock for their own purposes. Linus, finding an arrow on your property doesn't mean that the trout are the rustlers. Well, if it don't, I don't know who else could do it. I demand you ride out to the trout village and make some arrests. Linus, I can't just go riding into the trout village and start arresting fish for no reason. Well, unless you'd prefer I raise myself a posse and we ride out there, you'd better do something. No, no, no. This is Driftwood Gulch. Here, we don't go forming posses to go met out justice. We follow the law. We should just run those trout off their land and use it for something useful. All right, now that is enough. I said I would look into it, Linus. You just go back to your ranch and I'll be out later to report what I found. Fine. I'll be waiting. And Linus? What? Hand over that arrow. What for? Evidence. Fine. Here. I expect to see you later today. Hooey, Gup. He's in a mood. When is Linus Stoddard not in a mood? You really gonna ride out to the Trout Village and talk to them? I sure am, partner. And you're gonna come with me. Me? Well, wouldn't it be better if I went out to Aunt Pike's place and help her with some flake bread? There will be plenty of time for flake bread later, Ringo. For now, we gotta figure out where that hundred head of sea cattle went. Deputy Guppy and Ringo head out to the livery to pick up their seahorses in order to ride out to the Rainbow Trout Village. Are the trout the ones behind the disappearance of Linus Stoddard's sea cattle? You'll have to tune in and find out in the next exciting episode of The Tales of Deputy Guppy! Episode number 105 of The Tales of Deputy Guppy starred Grant Pachoco as Deputy Guppy, Chris Sheets as Ringo, Michael Ostrom as Linus Stoddard, and Kevin Burnson as the narrator. Music for this episode by Dan Ring. Say, kids, did you know that every single episode of The Tales of Deputy Guppy comes with a piece of the Driftwood Gulch action playset that's all ready for you to download, print, color, cut, and assemble? All you gotta do is head on over to DeputyGuppy.com and click on the link to the free PDF in the post for this episode. Once you add this new building to your playset, we'd love to see a picture of it. Send a picture of your Driftwood Gulch action playset to hello at SaturdayMorningMedia.com and stay tuned for more buildings and figures coming with future episodes so you can build your very own Driftwood Gulch. The Tales of Deputy Guppy is a production of Saturday Morning Media and is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Huge thanks to Shay Stewart, Merle Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Clemo, Melissa Crawford, Dave Slesher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Mike Coughlin, Dorothy Pachoco, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi from the Technorama Podcast, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVries, Mike Wabshaw, Twitter user Butts and Gear, a.k.a. Wildcat, Eve Cunning, Mike Hamilton, Gaston Moreno, Reed Loveland, Ivan Asquith, Vanessa Whitney, Peggy Etra, Kristen Hogan of Squid Friends, David Akers, Zoe Palladino, Ellen Moltari, Christopher Harris, Rachel Jackson of Vox Fabuli Puppets, Carolyn Weisner, John Petty, Rachel Hansen, Darcy Prevost, Fernando Torres, Ron McAdams, Perla Q Magic, Jason Domer, Cora Goodall, Lee Barrett, Casino Skunk, The Misty Minute, Peter Capesser, Night Gig Studios, Joel Recht for Tig, Adrian Rose Leonard, Earth to John Francis, RJ, Ginger J. Fitz, Megapodtastic, Paul Brunel, Jamie Hitchcock, Catherine Hannaford, Alan Gratz, Rachel Gibbis, John R. Donald, and Jude Major. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. The Tales of Deputy Guppy is copyright 2018 Saturday Morning Media Grant Pachoco Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Battery, along with my associates, Arnie Kunch... I can introduce myself, thank you very much. All right. Hi, I'm Arnie Kunchfine. That's it? That's it. And also, do you want me to introduce you, Brad? Well, of course, Mr. Bell, that's your job as host. Thank you, Brad. And I'd like to introduce Brad... Hold it. What? Here's your script. Script? (laughs) Well, you gotta know what to say. All right. And introducing Brad Montworth, a salesman, incomparable public relations expert, and, of course, unrivaled attorney at law. No, come on, you know how to say it, Mr. Bell. Unrivaled attorney Attorney at at law. law. Oh, Mr. Bell, you shouldn't say those things. You make me blush. Can I do my introduction over again? No. We're here for an important reason. Very important. Indeed. If you think you deserve significant financial compensation, call Brad Motworth, attorney Attorney at at law. law. Oh, boy. At 555-41. No, 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 no. We're here to remind everybody to take steps to avoid the coronavirus. Yeah, don't catch it. Because there's no one you can sue. Wash your hands thoroughly and keep social distancing. What? Social distancing. One more time. Stay about six feet away from everybody else. Right, very good. Oh, I gotta wash my hands thoroughly. I don't want to get me this corona. Ooh, keep your distance now. Socially. I want to keep feeling fine, corona. Never gonna stop getting squirts from my Purell. I'm always gonna buy all the toilet paper. Don't get no closer, huh? Beat it, huh? Far enough where I can't see your eyes, Corona. An illness history is not for me. Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't want to try your COVID on for size, Corona. Never gonna touch. Stay away. My epidermis never wants to be close to where that nasty germ is. Bye, 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 bye. Woo! Bye, Corona. Fly, Corona. Captain Bly, Corona. What? Pumpkin pie, Corona. Now wait a minute. Goodbye, Corona. Good riddance.